Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back. Today we are gonna uh, continue Minecraft Dungeons. And let's see what we have to do. So, we have Soggy Swamp, uh, Pumpkin Pastures, Cacti Canyon, and Redstone Mines. Uh, it looks like we can do any of them, really. So, I'm going to do Soggy Swamp, just to get it out of the way. And then, I guess we can do Pumpkin Pastures after that, and Cacti Canyon, and then Redstone Mines. So, let's start. live at the heart of the sinister swamp. They conjure up all manner of brews to empower the arch illager and his ever-growing army. If you don't find and defeat those witches, the illagers will be unstoppable. But tread carefully. The swamp is home to many horrors. Okay, so, you have to take out the witches and their cauldron, and it looks like the swamp is also scary for some reason. But, don't be scared because we have cool weapons. So, as you can tell, um, since we have fast weapons, can make uh, lots of poison clouds really quickly. So we're just gonna head back here. This side in. stuck in my face. Oh, never mind, it's gone. Now those witches throw those potions, so you have to be careful when you fight them. Range can take them out quickly. Now we have to take out the cauldrons, so we just have to find them, like here's one up here, and we just take them out by clicking on it. Scatter crossbow, which is really good. Uh, scatter crossbows are really good for mobbing, which is uh, just means that uh, for killing the mobs normally. The second one is bossing, which just means that the weapon is good for killing bosses. So let's 
Let's see if there's anything up here. I don't think there is, but I'm gonna check. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Okay, so we got all the cauldrons. Now we just have to continue along in the dungeon. Now in here, there usually is a boss, well, a mini boss, and yep, the mini boss is the Enderman, so let's attack him. When combined with the mushroom, you can attack really, really fast. So as you can tell, I made that fight pretty quickly by using a combination of both mushroom and a firework arrow. So, yeah. Now we can just continue along here, see if there's any extra good loot. There's a loot cake. Okay, looks like there isn't anything, so let's head back this way. Here's a pot or a base. Okay, it looks like there isn't anything down here, so let's head back. Okay, we'll continue along here. Level up. Okay, it looks like this room is cleared. Let's continue on. Also gonna grab this uh, pork here.
let's see what's over here. Here's a chest. Got a glaive in it. Glaives are really good because of their long reach. Oops, I didn't mean to fall. Okay, let's see what's this way. Here's a base. Or a pot, or whatever. Okay, now, if we're lucky, okay, we weren't lucky. So, uh, there's a secret swamp level that you can unlock on this level if you get lucky. It would say secrets found zero out of two, but we only have zero out of one. So that means there's no secret level to be unlocked. There's really not much to talk about because it's just grinding through the level. So a lot of this would probably be sped up, so yeah. Alright, here's a supply chest. Actually, wait, we were lucky. I forgot because um, since we're in the first difficulty, it actually will say one out of zero or zero out of one. So we were lucky. That's pretty good. So once you go into this area, uh, I'll show you in a second once we get there. Uh, in here, there will be a gate. If you're quick enough, you can actually activate this beacon before you have to close the gate. But I'm gonna attack these mobs anyway, just in case they drop anything special. Oh, I might die. Oh.
Okay, that was close. So normally you have to kill all the mobs and then you can activate the beacon. But since we were quick enough, we activated the beacon before the gate was closed all the way. So it op so once this over once the beacon is activated, it opens up this bridge here, and you can walk across. And you can unlock the soggy caves. The soggy caves is a really nice level for, level for grinding on. Because later on it drops a, a really powerful weapon. Uh, once you're in uh, adventure difficulty, it has a chance to drop fighters, gauntlets, or bindings. I forget exactly what they're called. But they're the best uh, fast weapon in the game. Once you get to this point, he's a chest. Um, I don't know if it's here or if it's a little bit later, but one of the areas there's a chance for a uh, obsidian chest to spawn, which is the best type of chest in the game. So there's three types of chests, I believe, which is. The wooden chest, the red chest, and the obsidian chest. The obsidian chest has a higher chance to drop uniques. And... Um, the wooden chest has the lowest chance to drop uh, any gear. Usually it's just... Uh, usually it's just emeralds. But... Sometimes it'll drop some equipment. The like, red chest usually pretty much always drop equipment, but it's not guaranteed to be. Oh, here's the boss arena, by the way. So, this boss might be hard for a lot of people. Because it spawns so many of these little purple blobs. But a way to get past that is you stand right here on this hill. Then you can just aim and shoot the cauldron. So from that we got Hunter's Promise, which is a nice bow. It's not bad, but it's not the best either. The Arch Illager's potion supply is no more, and it will be a long time before the witches recover from this blow. Well done. Well done. So from that we got a soul healer. Soul healers are pretty good because uh, you can use them to heal yourself or any of your allies. So if you're playing multiplayer, they're good for healing your enemy, or they're good for healing your allies or your friends when uh, their health is low. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got a glaive and a glaive. So I'm gonna. And for now, I think I'll stick with the Kings of Frost until we can get higher up. For the bow, I'm definitely going to switch to the Scatter Crossbow. And I'll uh, salvage this Hunter's Promise. Scattered crossbow will be our mobbing crossbow, and then the hunter's promise will be our bossing bow. So we didn't get any new uh, good gear. 
But, we do have this. Evocation rope. Which, it doesn't have very good enchants on it. So, I'm just gonna... Eh, you know what? I'll equip it anyways. Just because... Of the artifact cooldown. In the movement speed aura. So, whenever the bonus says aura, that means it applies to all allies near you. If it doesn't say aura, then it only applies to you. So let's see if the blacksmith has anything good. Okay, so he had mercenary armor. Now this has 35% uh, damage reduction. And 20% movement damage or weapon damage boost aura. So that means 35% of all damage is reduced, and 20% of all weapon damage is boosted. But it's also an aura, so it applies to other characters around you. But it's not necessarily good when you're playing single player because there's better armor that you can get. I think it gives a 30%. Weapon boost, but it's not an aura. But I'll equip this because it gives the 35% damage reduction. I have daggers, which are not that good. Here we go, we have a heavy crossbow. But our bossing uh, Hunter's Promise is better than the heavy crossbow. Here's a normal bow, which has multi shot on it, which is good. But our Hunter's Promise is still better because it also has multi shot on it. I'm gonna equip it and test real quick how much damage it does. Yeah, 54. So 54 is pretty good. Alright, one more. Let's see what the boxing has. Ooh, he dropped a firebrand. Okay, firebrand. It's a really good axe that um, does fire damage over time. So I'm gonna use that instead of the uh, frost daggers. So I'm going to do. Now both of these aren't- I don't have really good enchants for this. But I'm gonna try and do... I think I do smiting. And for this I'm gonna do potion barrier. And for this I'm gonna do... Uh, I'm going to do piercing. And on a hunter's promise, I'm going to do supercharge. So fire burns pretty good. Because it sets the enemy on fire. Okay, so let's do our next mission. Our next mission will be... Well, we could do soggy caves. Or we could do pumpkin pastures. Well, I'm gonna do pumpkin pastures.